Well, hello. I'm going to show you how to set up a Ragnarok server on Arc. I just figured it out about well throughout the day, I guess. And here it is finally running. It was actually pretty easy. I just did it with uh, Windows. This is uh, my server. I'm remoted into it. I did it with Windows and Arc Server Manager, which you can find online. Let it update. Uh, make a new server. Um, should look something like this. But I didn't change a whole lot of settings. You can change some. Um, as you can see, I named it Land of Odin. I'm not going to show you the password. I'm in password. I have this set. Server port's about the same as if you're running the island or the center or whatever. Whatever you want to do there, that works for your router. Of course, you have to forward them. I'll show you that very quickly in a few minutes. But I basically left everything else default. I did turn on this Archon port. It doesn't matter. You can do that if you want. You do have to name your map Ragnarok, which on Arc Server Manager isn't on this yet. It probably will be in the future. I left everything else default so far. The only other things I changed were some of the rates that were kind of just uh, going to be a uh, private server anyway. We don't want to have to farm all day. But yeah, after that, you pretty much just hit start and let it do its thing. And it'll say waiting for publication. But it appears to be up now. Let's see. It, this took a really long time. It actually crashed twice, and I just came back and double-checked all the settings, launched it again, and the third time it finally finished launching. So I'm not sure what error it was having exactly, but it seemed like it was some arc crash with a .cpp file. So I'm not real sure on that. Maybe it'll clear up in the future after an update or two. But it is running right now. Okay, I'm going to get, get off my server now. Sorry about all this stuff. And I went to it on Steam and found it. I'll show you how to do that because some people don't know how to do this. Basically go up to View. Then you go to Servers. And you can change this to Arc if you want, but mine seems to only find Arc ones anyways. And I change this to Ragnarok just to filter it. And I sorted by latency because mine's going to be the closest to me anyway and probably be at the top. And it does show up. It did take a few tries, a few crashes. It took a couple hours before everything just started working. But I can now connect. And I already tested this once before making this video. It does seem to be up and running. So there you go. Hope you have fun on this new Ragnarok, Ragnarok mode, Ragnarosis mode. <laughs> I'm glad I have video editing software. And here's the IP forwarding stuff. This is going to be different on every router. Basically, whatever you're hooked up to with your server or router it's hooked up to, you're going to have to go to it. So, figure that out. It's different on everyone, so I can't really say. Mine, I just go to it by IP on a browser, which is like 90% of them. And then you should find a section called forwarding, and you want to add new and set up service ports for each of those addresses on your server. I'll show you those real quick. That one, that one, and that one are the main ones okay so yeah I have those and I have an extra one I don't know why I have an extra one I think I don't need that and this is for a different program so ignore that but you need you're gonna need three or two if you don't do the Archon stuff anyway and this protocol I don't think is supposed to be all it's supposed to be one or the other but I just chose all because uh because I just wanted to get it running there you go, and this is the IP address of your machine, which you should set as static in case you didn't know that. And that should do it. If you have any questions, leave them below. If this helped you, leave a like. And have fun.